So some black dude is fighting a white chick, and I tell you right now, man, he put the key in the ignition and drove her ass to Suplex City. He gives this bitch a Brock Lesnar German suplex. He hits this bitch so hard, her tampon probably shot out her pussy, man. Hey, G for Thice Volume 1, you ready to see a huge smile on my face? Cause you see those other mixtapes, two hours, two and a half hours, three hours. Porn gore is three and a half hours long. That shit is like if you take Avatar, remove the blue people, and put people eating their own shit. You know what I'm saying? But this one right here, the first volume is only an hour and five minutes. So this is a, you know, glass of fresh water, a breath of fresh air, something fresh. It feels good. I feel rejuvenated. I feel great. You know, I can actually sit down, wash it several times in a row, pump out everything instead of sitting there and have to cut it up into three to four days. And, you know, sometimes I'd be dozing off and drooling on my fucking self. I remember with porn gore, I was dozing off and it showed that crazy bitch crawling on the ceiling or whatever. It scared the fuck out of me. Almost pissed myself to the point where I actually had to laugh at myself and I brung it up. Thought it was pretty funny. My damn supper. with that being said, let's look all the way on the Whoopi Goldberg, which one thing I do want to say, hey, Jesus for Thice, when it is translated, it means deadly records or fatal records. Throw that in there. And you see all the way on the bottom, you got FUBAR which I won't be doing by myself, but if you look to the left of that, you got the third installment of the series. Now, right here, I know if I only did the third installment of the series, people would be pissed, like, Cold Raven, we need the first and the second one. You can't do that, but I happen to have all three of them, so I'm gonna do all three of them so now you don't know how to say that shit. And with that being said, I'm gonna ping, ping, pong back and forth between this one and Ogre's Collection so shit doesn't get stale. And right here, I do kind of want to give this one out right here. The first one is not that bad. It's actually very tame compared to all the other shit. Uh, this won't be introductory compared to all the other gore. If you want to introduce someone to gore, I don't know why the fuck you would do that. But I'm just saying if you were to, this would be something you would show them first. So with all that being said, you know, if I get into the history of this, uh, which again, I'm from the future. You're probably like, what the fuck you mean you're from the future? This is May 3rd. All the recording after this, starting from the whiteboard and therefore after, is from yesterday. Because there's a whole bunch of bullshit that happened that I had to redo the whole entire intro. I'm going to get into that, though. Uh, but with all that being said, like and subscribe. Again, I'm like right there. I'm breaking 10K. Once I do, I have this whole entire 10K celebration. Appreciate all the love and support. I, I can't even express my gratitude enough. You know what I'm saying? Been doing this for a month and a half. You know what I'm saying? Boom. Right on the map. You know what I'm saying? So thank you so fucking much. Go ahead and check out my Patreon as well. Again, that helps me out a shit ton. Uh, exclusive content over there. Exclusive polls. A lot of people on Patreon, y'all dictate my content. You know what I'm saying? You dictate what comes out next. Which again, I'm going to have some polls coming out uh, right after this video. And on top of that, check out the Discord. We do watch parties. Which again, if you're 18 plus, you can join my watch party. If you're not, you can go ahead and have your own with other people again. But if it's on my time, it's on my watch. That's my ass. I have integrity. Can't let that shit slide with my eyes open. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so go ahead and join my Discord. Check that shit out. People going fucking wild in there. I have a lot of fun in there. But one thing I did want to say was, of course, I said this is from the future. It's May 3rd. Now, everything after this clip right here, it turns into May 2nd. And it's because I got a Google Drive with somebody who gave me all the information. And he said it was made in 2012. Which is fake news. Wrong. Uh, and before someone, stop quoting Donald Trump, dude. Really? Relax, relax. I, I do a little bit of trolling. I do I do a little bit of trolling. Um, so my whole point was, it's not made in 2012 because it literally has music in it that was uploaded in 2017. You know, how can you fucking make a mixtape in 2012 and have music that was released five to six years later? It's impossible. So with that shit being said, I called up my boy in Europe. You know what I'm saying? I was like, yo, can you send me some of the, you know, the actual burn shit? And it turns out this is released between the ages, oh, ages, the years of 2018 and 2019, you know what I'm saying? That's the kind of time frame it did come out, so I'm gonna throw that shit right up there. And the person who did made it goes by the name of Lazaro Han. I mean, he is fucking proud about it. He wants you to know about it. He stamps the shit on your forehead once you open it up. It's on a front cover, it's on a back cover, it's on the disc. It's everywhere. It's probably on your mother's ass. She probably got a tramp stamp of this motherfucker's name. He puts that shit everywhere. He wants you to know. He made it. He's the one that went out, spent hours getting these gore clips of people getting beheaded and cut into pieces and put into a compilation just for you to watch. Now, with that shit being said, it's not a bad watch. 65 minutes, 19 seconds, not a very long mixtape. You're not sitting there, you know, clawing at your fucking eyes. And it's very, very tame. It kind of sticks to the gore, just gore. That's really all it is. So, of course, like I said, it doesn't belong in that, you know, that very, very bottom tier with MD Pope and Porn Gore. To me, those are so bad they belong in their own tiers. Is it worse than fetus munchers? I think they're going to actually have a competition. I think they're actually neck at neck. But I think because of uh, Fetus Munchers having porn and some comedic relief. Comedic relief. Again, the comedy in Fetus Munchers is drier than an African's knee. So, again, I wouldn't call that comedic relief. I mean, it's fucking 
brain dead boring at points. Uh, but this one's just strictly gore. And it's not like, you know, the most heinous shit I've ever seen. But So it doesn't really belong in that absolute bottom tier list. Uh, so with all that shit being said, it is only about, what, like 54 clips? Nothing crazy. When you compare that to, uh, you know, 300 clips, Porn Gore 350 clips, you know, MD Pope 150, 200 clips, it's actually a very short watch. So with all that information being given out, with all that history being given out, we're going to pull out the whiteboard and I'm going to give you a blast from my ass from the past. Wepa. This is definitely going to be the quickest whiteboard I've ever done in the history of this channel and it might stay that way for a long ass time so check it out right here we only got 54 clips now compare that to those mixed tapes i got 100 200 300 clips 350 plus fucking clips this one only has 54 so god bless me god thank you jesus thank you as well so with that being said of those 54 clips you got 33 of them without gore now gore again mutilation someone got their arm cut off head exploded brain exposed guts out eyes out something that has you know insides or a shit ton of blood now you got 18 violent clips Violence. Someone's getting brutalized. Get their ass beat. You fall off a building and you don't explode into meat paste. Guess what? That's pretty violent because there's no, you know, exposure of insides. Now, on top of that, this is like a new category. I'm gonna keep from now on three porn gore clips. Yeah, I'm gonna keep on referencing that from now on because I kind of like the ring to it. And on top of that, it's actually very specific. It's porn or maybe genital mutilation or something that has to do with any type of porn or any type of genitals or ass or tits. That includes, you know, gore, STDs, or something that's fucking nasty. And yes, I said STDs because you're going to get a good look at that shit or a very good description of it. Or if you join my watch party, you're definitely going to get a good look at that shit because uh, we got a whole bunch of server boosters. So that shit's running at 1080p. So um, if I see you there, get your mind to roll. Hope you enjoy. So with all that shit being said, we're going to get right to the breakdown. We only got four pages. Four. That's eight. Four motherfucking pages. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to see if I can knock this one out in one single take. I'm determined. I'm hard-headed. I like to take things on. Head on. My mother ain't raised no bitch. So with all that, what well, I mean, my sister is a bitch. You know what I'm saying? She's annoying. But she's my half-sister at the end of the day. I used to call her half-breed. I call her a mutt because we don't have the same father. Both my parents are Puerto Rican. Her other father is like Dominican or some shit. Uh, so I always call her half-breed. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but anyway, you got a little bit of lore right there. My sister's a bitch and she annoys me. I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to take this one from the top, and we're going to start it off. So on the first video inside this entire mixtape, you got like this fucking beheading. It's a crazy beheading, right? So this dude is standing behind him, you already know, and he's giving a speech. Like it's like a three to four minute speech, like he's Martin Luther King at a fucking podium. Then he starts beheading the guy. Now mind you, when he pulls the guy's hair back, you can just look at like that that face of like, you know when you go up a roller coaster and right before you go down that... That face, yeah, like, preparing for the worst, but, like, you know, instead of just going down, his worst is getting his head fucking removed from his entire body. And as that's going on, it plays a song called, If I'm a Failure, You're a Tragedy by Adept. So, uh, and that song plays out for the next couple of clips. Again, this whole entire thing is a mixtape, or mostly, like, um, it has a lot of music videos inside of this shit. It's mostly, like, a gore music video. That's what I was gonna say. Not animated music video, a gore music video. Um, after that, you got this dude just beheading this guy, right? The guy's laying on his stomach, he's beheading him. While he's doing this, he literally points the knife at the camera and he's like this. And he starts giving like a shout out. He's like, yo, shout out to my homeboy KJ back at the hood, you hurt? Then he goes back to cutting off his head and rips that shit off his body. Which is, who does that? You know what I'm saying? Who gives a shout out while you're doing that? But I guess he felt like he really needed to fucking let his boy know. Like, this one's for you, homie. You know what I'm saying? Um, After this, this might be one of the craziest gore clips I've ever seen in my life. I mean, again, if you're a Patreon exclusive or whatever, you're a patron, you know about the onion type of way I, you know... Go after things, you know, you peel back an onion, it gets worse and worse. So there's this dude who's on fire. Now, he ain't even panicking. He's walking through the streets on fire. He looks like Johnny Storm from fucking Fantastic Four. While he's on fire, somebody grabs a fire extinguisher, you know, the rightful thing to do, and they blow the fire off of him. Now, while they're blowing the fire off of him, you see chunks of him coming off and shooting throughout the street. Yeah. And, and, and like, he's literally getting the meat off his body that's been cooked and seared, blown off of his body. Now, after that shit happens, I mean, he's covered in white, right? Because the extinguisher, he literally stands there like a baby that just shit their diaper. He's like, for like a good five to six seconds. And mind you, he's not on fire no more. And they're still spraying him down with the fire extinguisher for like a good solid 20 more seconds on the clock. Hold your breath for 20 seconds. It's a long time. After that, he starts parading around and putting his arms in the air like he's a champion, like he's a winner, like he just won the Olympics or some shit. Yeah, yeah, you know, he's building himself up. 
And then he starts calling out people in the crowd to a fight. He starts pointing at them and yelling at them. Maybe he's pissed off that they extinguished the fire or some shit. He's like, you want some? You want some? You come get some. Get your ass whooped. I'm like, what the fuck is this clip? And then he starts parading and putting his arms back in the, in the air because people were like, I guess, not wanting to fight him. I mean, you just cooked yourself. Uh, I guess he's trying to prove that he's the toughest guy on earth. Like, he can literally cook himself and then still make you look like a bitch after the fact. Uh, I, I'm not understanding that entire clip. Craziest shit I've ever seen. After this, it plays a song called Broken Wings, uh, Breakdown of Sanity. Again, all the music's going to be over here. You know, screenshot of it. Uh, okay, I'm recording. Make sure I'm recording. I was like, oh, I've been fucked if I got this far and didn't record. Um, it shows these guys pushing this gigantic ladder. And then the, <laughs> the two guys in the front let it go because they, like, twitch. And the other dude is like this. He's just getting electrocuted. Then he turns on fire after a while. It's like three to four minutes of him being electrocuted. And at no point, nobody saves him. They just run away. And then they stare and they get closer. Then they run away. Stare, get closer, and then they run away. And they continue this pattern about three to four times until he's literally engulfed in flames from the electrocution. So some really good friends. And then you have a car crash. Uh, literally, this guy crashes into somebody on purpose. The truck goes crazy, and this guy standing in front of the store gets smashed by that truck and gets knocked like 20 feet into the fucking store. And the guy who did that car accident on purpose, so I guess you call it a car on purpose, comes out like, oh, what just happened? What just, like, how you gonna act confused? Like, your ass wasn't doing 60, you know what I'm saying? Crazy ass shit, but it was in the Middle East, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I didn't know cameras can go that fast. <laughs> I got a <laughs> so retarded. Uh, okay, and then after that, um, it's like a guy. It's like a corpse, right? The guy is literally dead. And then they grab like a fucking flashlight and put it in his face. And they're just like you know putting it in his eye. And then they're, like looking at his balls and shit, looking throughout his body. And it's like they turn him over, taking a look at his ass crack with a flashlight. And it's like, well, what are you doing? He's dead. Leave him alone. What are you looking for? You know what I'm saying? They're like putting a flashlight in his ear. Like I see a Scooby Doo. It's a, and I see a Shaggy in there. Like, get the fucking flashlight out of his face. You know what I'm saying? Um, after that shit, it plays a song called Love and Meth by Corn. I'm going to tell you right now, there's a whole bunch of corn in here. You know what I'm saying? Like, he put, like, the entire fucking, like, corn catalog inside his Like, this guy loves corn. I mean, he probably wants to get a bukkake from the entire fucking, you know, band of corn. Let me that one theme on the comments. And so would I. You got some fucking problems. Uh, after that, it shows this dude whose leg is just uh, fucked up. I mean, literally, if you grab a calf and draw a U out of it, it looks like a shark bit it. Like, bit a whole, a whole good chunk out of it. And then they sit him up, and like half of his face right here is so fucked up. Looks like his eye is missing. Just absolutely battered. And they're just, you know, picking him up and putting him back down. They're picking him up and they're putting him like he's doing sit-ups or some shit. And it's ridiculous. Like, yo, get this man some help. I don't understand that. After that, there's a guy who's in the street, right? And his arm is contorted in such a way I can't even describe. And his arm is literally being held by just the smallest muscle fibers. Because it is about 95% detached. And when they pick him up, I, I swear to you, I thought his arm was just going to fall off. It was I thought. I seriously thought it was just going to fall off. Like, it was only held by a couple of fibers. And then they walk his ass off. After that, there's this guy who's on a stretcher. And is playing a song, Get Up by Corn. No surprise, featuring Skrillex. And his arms are fucked up. Look like some chicken wings uh, that bent backward. After that, <laughs> this is one another what the fuck clip, right? It's one of these what the fuck uh, gore clips. Let me get a sippy sip right quick. So, it's a bunch of grown ass men in the Middle East. Full fucking beards. And they start skipping like this. Like little girls playing hopscotch, right? And they skip all the way down the block. To go in, around this whole entire crowd in a circle. And there's a dead dude in the middle. I mean, his, he's completely naked. I mean, his fucking buns are cooking in the sun. Completely naked. And they're like, oh my God. Oh my God. And they start throwing rocks and bricks at him and start throwing sticks at him and start stomping him. I'm like, yo, what the fuck is going on? And then they literally skip away. Like, I, I, I don't understand. I don't know how else to describe it. And someone else is like a 13-year-old kid with a school bag on. And he starts fucking kicking the guy too. It was crazy as fuck. It's ridiculous. Ridiculous clip. Uh, after that, she was like a terrorist leader. She was like a, a young girl. Uh, I'm going to say too young, probably like in her uh, teens. And she's, a, you know, all this praise Allah shit. Mind you, these are extremists, Muslim extremists. And she's all praising this shit. She's getting on her knees and bowing. And then it shows her enter a van. <laughs> and then it shows the van from a bird's eye view. 
I knew some shit was gonna go on. Uh, it shows like a green circle around it. The gnat shit blows up. It looks like a whole a whole mushroom cloud. I mean, it grew mushrooms on the van. She got blown up so fucking bad. Uh, and then just boom, nothing. You could not see nothing else. There's this huge, gigantic cloud that just surrounded her, torched her, scorched her, and it does a beep, 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 and it shows her face on the side. Like, yeah, that's who we just eliminated. They weren't fucking around with her. Um, after this, this has to be the most sad, pathetic thing I've ever seen in my life. It shows a whole bunch of grown men in some orange jumpsuits, and they're kind of doing like an anime intro. You know what I'm saying? They have their heads down to like, like one at a time, like it's some fucking Naruto intro. And it shows a whole bunch of 12-year-old Muslim extremists behind them. And they're obviously their hands are tied behind their back. And this one kid is like shouting and giving a bullshit-ass speech of propaganda. And he has like Spongebob teeth because he's so fucking young. And then they all take out guns and they blow these dudes' heads off. Which is just so sad. You know, you're a man in your 30s and 40s. I would have at least begged and pleaded to be killed by another grown man. I mean, imagine being shot in the head and murdered by like an 11-year-old. That is just fucking pathetic. That's a very pathetic way to go out. It's like being murdered by a fucking duck. Imagine that shit. And it plays uh, Corn Coming Undone. Again, what's that? Like three or four Corn songs already? It's fucking crazy. That is page uno. Done. Uh, and then it shows a street going Africa. I mean, like, dog. This dude got fucked up so bad, I kid you not. Everybody in the scene, mind you, this guy's recording. Everybody there is black. The person that's dead in the street is white. So that just goes to tell me that that dude got fucked up so hard he lost his pigment. I mean, that's how hard he got hit by some bus or some shit. I mean, it's just a splatter of nothingness. And then you can just see white skin. This person got absolutely fucking demolished. It's just go everywhere in like one fat leg. Um, <laughs> Yo, this shit right here had me. So it was a machete fight. Uh, and one guy had a machete. The other guy didn't have nothing. And he starts hitting this dude with the machete. It must have been dull as fuck because I didn't see any blood. And then this other dude comes in. He has a chair on some WWE show. Hold on, check this out. Uh. Oh, man. Holy shit. That was brewing for a minute. Take that shit with you. Sell on eBay for $9.99, actually. Or $19.99. I don't know. How much can you get for it? Do a bid. Anyway, so this other dude intervenes. And he grabs a steel chair. And, like, you know, he's blocking the machete with the steel chair. It's a crazy-ass fight. And then he drops the steel chair and goes for a double-leg takedown. Yeah. He actually knows what he's doing. He goes for a double leg takedown, scoops him up, and slams this motherfucker. And starts punching him, and he starts holding him down. Uh, which, again, that's why I advise everybody out there, if you're watching this, learn wrestling. I'm not talking about John Cena fucking, hoo, 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 you can't see me. No, I mean like real wrestling. You know what I'm saying? Like singlets and medals, Olympics, uh, amateur wrestling. Again, I've done that for 10 years. So when I see shit like this, it puts a smile on my face. Because, again, if you got a knife... If you got a machete, a sword, a gun, if someone grabs you and breaks that distance, it now becomes a fight instead of just, you know, a one-sided affair. Um, again, he takes him down, slams the shit out of him, starts wailing on him, done. And then they break it up, and then the dude on the bottom is all fucked up, acting like he's the victim after just attacking two people with a machete, by the way. Uh, after that, you get some guy who's, like, creeping on, like, a mother. I am sweating like a fucking pig right now. It is hot as balls in New York, so I'm probably gonna wash my ass after this. Uh, it's like this dude who's like hiding, right? And he's recording from the top of a building of some mother. And it plays um, World So Cold by Mudvayne, which is a band I've heard of. Uh, and that's about it. She like comes out and like bitches and complains and that's just about it. Uh, it shows some guy get electrocuted after that. I mean, I was wondering what was happening. He was like bent over a building. And I see his hands like, you know, turning on fire and then getting off from turning on fire. Like it's just like it's on and off. I'm thinking that he's trying to light something. But then I see that there's literally a live wire touching them. No one does nothing. I mean, they literally just stand there. People actually walk inside the building, go to the top to get a closer view of it happening. No one does nothing. No one kicks them. No one pushes them. No one runs into them to knock them off. They just stand there and watch them. And some people actually want to get a closer in front view. They wanted to get into the splash zone of this SeaWorld electrocution. It's fucking sad. Um, and then after that, it plays Blow Me Away by Breaking Benjamin, which is a song I know. I know a lot about Breaking Benjamin. I listened to a shit ton of Breaking Benjamin. It was the biggest band out when I was a kid. So this is one I did not have to Google, didn't have to look it up, didn't have to Shazam it. Um, shows the guy sitting down, right? They take this big ass metal pole. Mind you, this guy looks clean, spot, well, as clean as you're gonna look when you live in South America. You know, no, no offense, no offense, but I mean, there's some very good areas over there. And there's areas like this, you know what I'm saying? I know I got a big South American audience. Those are my people right there. Uh, <laughs> they start beating him with a pole, right? They beat the fuck out of him. He goes from looking spotless to just being covered in blood. 
I mean, he just gets his ass beat. Um, again, that's the first time I've ever said no offense. I'm not trying to, you know, be an asshole right here. When I try to be an asshole, you'll know. But I wasn't trying to be an asshole at this point. Um, this shows a guy who's dead in the street. He's shivering like a groundhog that's cold. And somebody's, like, stomping on his hand to find his pulse. Or to see if he was alive. I mean, why don't you just go like this? Why do you gotta stomp on his fucking hand? Or he's like, yo, you good? But at the same point in time, he's like this. Like, seizing the fuck out. So, he ain't that good. Uh, then you see a guy who was on fire. He was cooked. And somebody does, like, a drive-by on him. Like, not like a drive-by with guns. I mean, he runs by him. And grabs a piece of his burnt shirt off. And runs away with it. Like he's gonna sell it. I, I don't know why they did that. But whatever. It plays the song Reincarnate Motionless in White. Now this one got me. It was a guy who was getting dialysis. Which I know how you know dialysis is. You got this big ass vein in your arm. They gotta put the thing. The machine. Hook up to it. To run your blood through the machine. To clean it. And literally somebody walks into that bitch. You cannot attach yourself to this machine. Once you're on it. Somebody walks in, throws, you know, lighter fluid on him and fucking bursts him into flames. And while doing this, he got it on himself. So he's also on flames. And then the guy next to him who's also getting dialysis is also on flames. So he burns this motherfucker down, which to me is a very scary situation because you're hooked up to a machine you cannot pull away from. You just going to take that shit and you see him kicking and pushing. He's trying to break distance, but hey, yo, he can't do nothing. You know what I'm saying? Once you hook up to that machine, done. So the guy who turns him on fire also gets on fire his damn self. See a chick that's cut in half in the middle of the street. It starts playing Stricken by Disturbed. I think Disturbed is a very fucking cringy band. I thought Disturbed was cool when I was younger. And then all the edgelords took Disturbed and kind of ran with it and kind of ruined it for the rest of us. Now Stricken is still a very good song because people haven't ruined it yet. Yet. I think as far as I go into these mixtapes, it's going to get worse and worse. I'm going to start hitting Disturbed even more. But it plays Stricken by Disturbed. It shows this chick that's cut in half. And she's still moving. She's completely in half. I mean, her legs are over here. Her upper half is over here. And she's still moving. So she is really, like, in a bad shape. She's really in a bad position. She is not looking good. But she's still there. And I think, like, her mother comes up. It's like, oh, my God. Then falls on her ass. And then dude uh, stops recording. After that, you see a giant raft of people trying to get onto this giant boat that they, uh, you know, they throw in fucking, you know, uh, ropes so they can climb and get their ways up. But as this is going on, the raft starts filling with uh, water and people start drowning. Then you see, like, floating corpses and shit because people don't know how to drown. Uh, know how to... They know how to drown. They definitely know how to drown. But look at this clip. They learned how to drown. They mastered that shit. They don't know how to swim. Uh, so that sucks for them. After that, you see, like, these dirt bike chicks. You know, these big dirt mountains. They fucking drive on it. Flippity flips. One dude, his front wheel got stuck. And he eats shit, does a penguin slide. And his bike does a flip and clonks him on the back of the head. Like, the wheel smashes his face even deeper. And it just destroys this dude. I mean, he gets fucking molly by his own bike. Um, after that, this was pretty disturbing. And not really often I say that. But it's like a pile of mush. And someone's face is completely off this skull. It looks like that episode of Ren and Stimpy. Remember, like, oh, the hog skins. I'm going to put up a, a picture over here. And then on top of that, his head, his whole entire skull is completely skinned. Completely skinned. I mean, you can see it. And it's cracked in half, so it looks like a Cyberman. It looks like a pink Cyberman uh, from, like, Budokai 2. That shit right there was crazy. That dude did not have a good day. Or female. Who knows? It was just a pile of mush. Um... After that, you got this one dumbass where I know people skateboard and shit and they do the same tricks with bikes and uh, motorcycles apparently where you're grinding on rails. You jump up, you grind the rail, you jump off. But instead of going and doing this on a rail, he tries to do this on like a highway. Yeah, on the side of a highway. You know the cement platforms and shit? He tries to do this on a highway. He, well, obviously you can't do that there because it's not a fucking rail. And he falls over, falls 20 feet. And when he smashes the ground, I mean literally, they go up and they show his corpse. This guy looks like he's playing Twister by himself. He is just turned and contorted in so many which ways and fashions. The dude is just fucked up. Boom. 17 minutes in and two pages done. That's crazy. Let me get some sippy sip right here again. It is a hot day in New York and I'm wearing this bullshit. Wepa, no vomit and no scat. So I gotta say I'm pretty happy about that. After this, it shows this chick which... um. This one did make my goosebumps go up. I'm not going to front. Because again, when bodies are very severely contorted or, you know, these odd movements, that does kind of creep me out a little bit. Uh, and it shows a hip that's so dislocated. Like her knee is able to go past and higher than her belly button. Yeah. Imagine trying to do that. 
and her leg is completely stretched out the opposite angle. And she is alive, mind you. She is just in such a bad shape, man. It is just fucking disturbing to look at. And it plays a widower. Make them suffer. Now, this is another what the fuck type of clip, man. It's like, you know when you have those plastic chairs? So this is how I know it's kind of like a party. A whole bunch of those cheap-ass plastic chairs that all Spanish people get for the parties and shit. And imagine all those chairs shattered and broken. And there's like 16 corpses laid out throughout these chairs. And he's just like, you know, this guy's recording it and shit. And while he's recording it, he turns the camera and he's like, yeah, 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 yeah. and he's like giving his own like fucking hot take about the situation. Like, I, I can't see what just happened. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't need you to explain to me that there's a whole bunch of dead fucking people. And before he actually starts giving his take, he does the, you know, the generic millennial fucking, I'm going to put my fingers in my hair and push it backwards. And now here's my hot take, dude. I, I don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? I just want to see the corpses. After that, it shows these people putting out their hands and they're getting their hands spanked with a big-ass log of wood for probably stealing us some shit, young kids. And I love this song right here. By Sick Puppies, You're Going Down. I did not need to Google or Shazam it. This song gets me hyped. Like, it just makes me want to break some shit or hurt somebody. Like, yo, You're Going Down by Sick Puppies is my shit. You know what I'm saying? Um, then it shows a guy, you have, like, uh, gauze around his finger. They unwrap it. Got some bloody-ass fingers getting an eyelash in my eye. Yo, I'm a fucking mess right now. Sweating like a hog. Eyelashes in my eyes, thirsty like a bastard. I'm not in good condition. I'm about to burp again. I got something brewing. I fill up the brew. After they unwrap his fingers, it's nothing special. It's just unwrapping it in the hospital. Then it shows this dude who got ran over by a dump truck. You don't know what a dump truck is? It's a truck that's so big, literally a tire is about as big as a grown man in height. Uh, and probably weight, it probably weighs three times the size of a grown man. So this guy got ran over by a dump truck. His whole entire bottom half looks like a sheet of paper. But his upper half, since he's wearing a white shirt and it's so white, he looks like a fucking light bulb. Because he's just been squished so bad at the bottom. But the upper half is still so big. Uh, bad condition, man. Bad condition. And he's alive. Like, he's, like, on his uh, forearms and shit. You know, pointing at people and trying to talk. It's like, just put him out of his misery. You know what I'm saying? There's no coming back from that. I want to see if anybody's ever been cut in half, severed in half, or squished in half, and has ever survived. That's some shit I need to look into. I'd be crazy if you did. Uh, but it would kind of suck because he, he lost his dick. Done. Not a man no more. I'm sorry. I don't make the rules. I just follow him. After this shit, man, this shit right here is crazy. So some black dude is fighting a white chick. And I tell you right now, man, he put the key in the ignition and drove her ass to Suplex City. He gives this bitch a Brock Lesnar German suplex. He suplexes the fuck out of her. Now, I'll tell you like this, man. She got the heart of a warrior. Do not discredit this woman at all. She is a woman. I, yo, she gets up after eating that big ass German suplex and she starts looking for it. You know what I'm saying? She's still looking for more. He comes by and he gives her a good one. I mean, he chin checks the fuck out of her. She falls down and she gets back up for this scrap. Like, yo, she is looking for this scrap. And then he go ahead and he... Oh, he lays another good one into her, even harder than the last one. She falls back down, and she gets back up. And yo, I can't, I'm fucking mind blown. Like the the will, the the fight in this woman. She wants this shit. She gets back up, and he lays her out again. I mean, like fuck. He hits this bitch so hard, her tampon probably shot out her pussy, man. And guess what? She gets up again like yo she wanted that shit and people break it up and she gets up and she's a little bit wobbly but then after that she takes like five steps and gains her composure that's a fucking tough ass chick and mind you this dude has some weight on him it's not like he was one of these scrawny ass 140 pound kids he was probably like a buck 80 buck 85 it's a pretty big dude you know what i'm saying he's not that huge pause um but in comparison to your average guy, he has some beef on him. And she was eating that shit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, she didn't get too many licks in, no doubt. But she had a heart of a lion, a heart of a warrior. That chick's a fucking scrapper. So I think if it was anybody else she was fighting, they would have got that ass whooped, no doubt. I don't fucking know, man. There's no way you drop somebody like four or five times. They just keep coming back for seconds and thirds like it's Thanksgiving. Like shit. Um, after that, it shows this is what I would put in the porn girl category. This guy had his balls in like a clamp. I, it was like twisted. His dick looked like a spring because it was so twisted. And they untwist it. And it plays a song to be birthed by uh, Hell Within. And yeah, they untwist his dick and it just loops the fuck out. Uh, terrible condition. His balls were just like squeezed to the point like they were about to pop. 
Uh, after that, shows another guy get electrocuted on a wire. Uh, it shows this uh, fucking two dudes jumping this one guy. And some dude comes in with a yellow shirt. I'm going to call this guy yellow shirt badass. Because he comes in there and beats the dog fuck out of these two guys. I mean, he just drops one and drops the other. Boom, that was it. And then he goes in there, you know, daps up the other dude that he just saved. Crazy ass shit. I mean, they didn't see that coming, you know what I'm saying? So if you see a yellow shirt, you better start running. After that, it's... <laughs> this is another what the fuck clip. A grown ass man in some Nikes in a schoolgirl skirt. Yes, I said it. He's wearing Nikes in a schoolgirl skirt that goes down to his ankles. Comes in with a knife. He tries to stab another man in the throat. And the guy moves so like it blades off his shoulder. And then he pushes away and then his girlfriend saves him from the attacker. I... This whole situation just has a what the fuck written on it. I, that's what that is. You know what I'm saying? I can't even... Now, why is there a grown ass man wearing a schoolgirl shirt going around stabbing people? Schoolgirl skirt. I keep saying shirt. It wasn't a shirt. It was a skirt down to his fucking ankles. And no, it wasn't a kilt. It wasn't a kilt. It was a skirt. Yes, a skirt. Um, After that shit... You see this like, um, this is ridiculous. This is, this is just fucking ridiculous. So a soldier grabs the guy by the back of his neck and he has a gun, mind you. It was an abrupt cut, but obviously storage issues, but we are good. Don't worry about it. Uh, anyway, so he grabs this dude by the back of his neck, right? And he's a soldier with a gun and he's walking him around and he, like, there's these chicks that are dead and they're naked, you know, at least their tops are still on. So right there, I know that these chicks have been sexually assaulted and murdered and he's showing them like, yeah, you know, you did this, right? He's like, all sad and shit like he's been caught and he's trying to treat him like a dog you know when your dog shits on a carpet or like it shits on a hardwood floor you put your dog's face in it you're like no 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 then you throw your back you throw your dog back in the bed or you put him in a cage this is how he's treating this guy like like a slap on the wrist like no no don't do that again bad bad david bad don't fucking rape and kill women don't do that david bad david like are you Fucking crazy? Like, you just shoot him in the head. Kill him. Kill him there. Kill him right fucking there. Uh, but instead, they're kind of like, yeah, whatever. You, just don't do it again. That's not even a sleep. He did it twice. It was two quarts. I, and it was just was bloated up. So they've been sitting there for a minute. I, I don't understand that. Then after that, um, you got this dude who's literally laying on his side. He's in a hospital. And they are digging in his ass for treasure. And they pull out a dildo that is so fucking massive. I mean, it almost eclipses my cock. I mean, this is a big fucking dildo. I mean, like, they pull this shit out. And this motherfucker had the two-hand grip that shit. Or he's gonna break his shoulder if he didn't. And they pulled that whole thing out of his ass. I mean, that shit was touching his stomach acid. It was so deep in there. And this ain't the first time I've seen a video like this. i see some shit like this in MD Pope. And... I'm sad to say this ain't the first time I've seen this. After that, they show somebody who's drowned inside of a, like a river, which is pretty fucked up because my point is, like, they kind of rush her to the car to kind of get her to a hospital, which is stupid. If someone drowns, you don't need to bring them to a hospital. You can save them right then and there. How do you know that? Because I've drowned before. You give them CPR, chest compressions, you know, air in their mouth, gets the shit flowing, and you're going to push that, you know, water out of their lungs. You're going to make them conscious again. You do not need to bring someone to the hospital. What you're doing is actually you're killing the person. Because now, guess what? All that water in the lung, less oxygen to the brain. Now, over that time and that course and period, it's going to take you 10 to 20 minutes. You're going to kill them. Just right there. You could save them right there. Chest compressions, CPR. So now you know. So anybody fucking drowns in your family, you save them. Thank me. After that, uh, you have some Yogi Bear type of shit. Where they have like a, a picnic hammock. And they literally holding a corpse inside of it. And they're just running across the street with it for whatever reason. Um, then it plays a song called Unspoken, the, Gro the Ghost Inside. I was about to say the great inside. The ghost inside. And it literally has somebody who's dismembered in so many pieces. And it's like out on display. Like they're having a fucking yard sale. I mean, this shit is just crazy. I don't understand that. It's like you got hands over here. Fingers over here, you got his calves over here, shins, you got his fucking head. That's the most expensive part, so it's a quarter. And it's like, it's ridiculous. I don't understand that shit. Again, these motherfuckers weren't playing around. After that, we got some more porn go right here. This guy's dick is so rotted away um, from whatever STD he has. It looks like fucking... No, we're not doing this. 
It looks like, oh man, it looks like, you know when you, ha, ah, fuck. It looks like when you buy bacon in like one of those canned things, you know the dried bacon that people put into salads, those nasty fucks. If you eat that shit, you got some problems. And it looks like they sprinkled that shit all over his dick. Like, you know when, you, when as a kid, you used to make those projects, you put glue, you put glitter on it, then you shake it off. It looks like they put glue around his dick and balls and shit. And then he put the bacon. <sighs> they put the bacon. I'm not going to gag this video. It's me the first video I don't gag. They put the bacon on it. And they just let it sit there. Then after that, they start removing and cutting it off. Then they have a whole tray of the... They have a whole tray of all the STD bacon shit. And it's just the grossest thing ever. All right. Uh, after that, it shows, um, like somebody getting dug out of a snowstorm. Like they've been just absolutely buried in snow. They dig them out. It plays Holy Water by Thy, Thy Art is Murder. Uh, it shows some yellow guy then pass out on like one of those parking lot places. Like those, uh, parking lot buildings. And it, I guess it shows the same yellow guy attack some chick and starts beating the shit out of her. Uh, so I guess something happened along those lines. He was covered in blood inside the second part of it. But something had to have happened. Then it shows a guy who looks exactly like Nate Diaz. Dead in the street. I mean, he's like this, head turned. Looks exactly like Nate Diaz. So rest in peace to him. Shows a female who's closing a gate. Like, everybody walks out of the street. She's closing the gate. Somebody tries to open the gate while she's trying to close it. And try to attack her. And then after that, all those people who left come right back. And it's a whole mob mentality. Like, they pick this motherfucker up like this. And they run off with him. I don't know what they're going to do with them, but shit, you got what you were looking for. You know what I'm saying? You want to attack a female, you know what I'm saying? For no reason? Shit, they're going to take care of your ass. Um, then there's one guy who gets a bullet removed from his forehead. They play Dead Forever by Any Given Day. Um, then it shows someone who's cooked in the street. Like, literally, he's just been cooked to an absolute crispy crisp. He looks like a burnt. Um, one of those <laughs> burnt people from Gary's Mighty. You ever seen this shit? Probably throw it over here. Uh, people always put that as like the hobo role inside of a dark RP. Not sure why. Uh, shows a girl who's in a pink tank top. Well, not a girl. She's like 20. And she's getting slapped in the fucking face back and forth and back and forth. Like, smack the fuck up. And it plays Carry On by Anna Suchaya? Suchia? I know one of y'all gonna be like, it's pronounced Buh, Cold Raven. You don't know about this person? No, I've never listened to every single song on the entire fucking globe. My bad. Like, seriously. I, oh, you don't know this song called? No, I don't. I listen to rap. And if it's not rap, chances are I don't know it. You know, I know a lot of rock. But you can't judge me. I don't know some obscure shit like this. Maybe your favorite artist, but not everybody listens to what you listen to. Um, and then it shows somebody in the street. They're on fire. They're just sprinting. They are booking it through the street. Um, last one is a chick who got beaten a fucking death. I mean, they beat the dog shit out of her. They start kicking her in the pussy. Then they pull up her skirt and start taking pictures of her pussy. Uh, and of course, this is like in India. So they would literally kill a female for Bob and vagina pics. So they did that. That's ridiculous. Uh, it shows a mob beat down in Africa. They just beat the shit out of this guy in Africa. And for the last video, it just shows a guy on fire. And that is Hajistros Fatais, Volume 1. Not that bad. Not that bad. Maybe the third one belongs in that MD Pulp tier with Porn Gore and all that other shit. First one is not that bad. I would actually move it down a rank or two. Uh, but it's definitely worse than Fetus Munches. Uh, but it at the... Well, Fetus Munches does have scat and vomit. This one didn't. Oh man, fuck. Take that shit with ya. Sell on eBay for whatever you can get for it. Uh, but again, not that bad. I'm assuming the second and third one are much, much more worse. Because again, if they're willing to put that in that last tier, it should get worse as we progress. But at the same point in time, the tier list was still pretty shit. Again, having fetus munches all the way down there. So again, I'm still going to have my grapes. So again... Uh, Last thing I do want to say right here, again, for my brain finally gives out because I'm dying of fucking heat stroke. Again, I am sweating my ass off. I literally just felt a cold drop of sweat come from my armpit down my side. So I'm going to go throw my ass in a bath or something. Um, I'm going to make my own tier list right now. I am taking notes of what I say. So I can go ahead and make my own tier list of my own iceberg, kind of to fix this iceberg. And then I'm going to make my own after I cover all these clips. So that shit being said, like, favorite shit, most likely comment and subscribe. I'm your boy, Cold Raven. I'm going to hold some polls on Patreon to see what we're going after next. I'll catch you at the watch party tonight. Peace. And as per usual with these longer videos, I always give a shout out to my patrons. It helps me out so much that y'all do this. Again, y'all make me more determined than ever. So a huge shout out to all y'all. Starting with Aaron Davila, Aimless Samos, Arlette Ramirez, Armando Ruiz Jr., 
Austin Baker, Awoke Kia, Beat Baby, Betty Butler, Boofin Jankum, Braden Darkwin, Brian, Berkshaw, Buttermilk Biscuit, B Wall Six, Caitlin Vale, Chris, Christian Infante, Cody, Dark Moon Two, Dick Bud, Diego Posadas, The Nord 360, Doodoo -doo Cheeks 420 Ball Sack, Easy, Emmanuel Conejo, Evan Alpore, Felicia is my waifu, Fontaine Sensei, Gas Draws, Jesus G, Graham Schnitz, Grave Krupa, Hungarian Comet, Imi, Jake Allstand, Jake Allstad, Jennifer Coral, Jennifer Painter, Jessica Lynn, Jesus Christ himself, Jesus Moya, Jesus Romero, Jorge Gamino, Josie Machina, Juju, Casey Madison, Caden, Kaleidoscope, Kevin Hoover, Kieran, Kieron, Kill Coat Kid, Kitty Vicious, Craig Green, Leo, Leon the Peon, Luke Baxter Carr, Magnolia Fan, Mama Susie, Maximus Brime, Necro, Nipen, Udham Hood, Pablito Escobar, Parra, Filovic, Rogelio Hernandez, Romina de la Torre, Running Cloud, Ryan Wren, Scott, Sean, Sebastian Roth, Serenia Sefuentes, Spaghetti Ninja, Stephanie, Steve Garrix, That Girl Sam, The Worst Channel on YouTube, The Bruce, The Cup from Two Girls One Cup, Tyler Tapley, Windwolf, Exodian, Your Boy Wankstain, Yike, Zach Champion, and Zachary. Appreciate all y'all out here supporting me. Much love felt, believe me. Can't wait to see y'all out inside that motherfucking uh, movie theater that we're going to be having tonight. I'm going to catch y'all there. Peace.